Yeah, man, reading is, was one of my yeah. biggest hey. passions. Oh, he yeah. was one of the ones reading rainbow. <laughs> Butterflies I was more like, the between the lions. Oh, oh, you don't know about that, boy. You too, <laughs> you too young for that, boy. Come in. Oh, yeah. Begin. Oh, you That was my shit. shit. We I have know. Hager. I know hey, hey, my clip. Hang on. Come on. Oh, oh, yo. <laughs> yo. That was that shit. Stop. Starring Timothy Rock. That boy Mel. Ted Token. Tay Sean. It's time to score this Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Great Apes Cafe. It's your boy, Tim Tom Bomb. We have the cast here with some members who are definitely not here. They're probably sleeping. we recording really early, so, you know, they can't handle, you know, they can't hang out with your Uncle Elroy. They can't do what you really want to do. But anyway, before we talk about some random topics, um, I want to discuss the very importance of utilizing your time in your schedule. It's a lot of people friends and colleagues of mine who waste time on bullshit, watching that Netflix and not doing what they need to do and not trying to knock Netflix, of course. You know, some of those shows are good. Mm -hmm. But make sure you Shout use your the time wages. wisely. For time is very short. And what's worse than waste of money Wasting is time. 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 So time. what we're going to do is we're going to highlight how we utilize our time during the week. And we're going to start with... Uh, I'm gonna let Day Day start this one off. <laughs> oh, starts with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, yeah, coming at me like that. No, nah, I try to. Time is very, very, very crucial. I learned that actually in high school. We used to have a time management class in high school because I went to an early college. So they would try to tell you how to balance, you know, schoolwork and homework and classwork and, you know, your schedule and all this thing. So. If I have something to do, like I say, if I work five days a week, I got two days off. So those two days, usually my most important days, if I try to do some shit I couldn't typically do on a normal day. But it's all about me sometimes, I guess, whatever mood I'm right. in. Like, mm -hmm. if I work at 2 o'clock typically at the restaurant I'm currently employed at, some days, like, I would get up before I had work, like, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, go mm -hmm. to the gym, maybe work out, maybe shoot around in the gym a little bit. Then go get something to eat. Uh, then go to work. But now having a two month old daughter, you know, kid, and now oh, yeah, whatever. So now it's like all night. now my <laughs> my, my schedule was all messed up. So I was like, okay, I'm trying to balance between spending enough time with her, making sure I still do my own thing as far as you know, podcast goes, and hang out with my friends and things of that nature, mm -hmm. and then getting enough sleep, enough rest to be able to go to work and sustain a, a eight hour shift mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So it's 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 all about I guess what's going on with me. But right now, like. It's really about the balance between work and then my daughter. So, and of course, still trying to do little things like this. I haven't been on the episode and we haven't ever, shot one in, forever, the, in ever, a while. So, forever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever, so, ever, forever, so, ever, forever, ever. That's what my schedule consists of, which is exactly why I'm switching occupations because I do want to spend more time with my kids and want to have more free time on the weekend. So, we can't shoot podcast episodes and I can't be a little more, you know, stress free because, you know, you work in that restaurant industry. Oh, that's fast. Yeah, you got to be there on the weekends yeah, now. Yeah. So, huh. that's me, you know. So, that's Day Day. Make what about you, Ted? <sighs> Ted Token? This nigga said smack. Oh, boy. That's like, wake cat, up, get high. <laughs> Fall back. So, how, how's your schedule? Do your schedule be hectic during the week? No, nah, like, I do open mic on the same regular ass days. Mondays, right? Where's the Wednesdays? Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Is that the same spot? Does that yeah. class just your work schedule? No. Nah. Okay. I okay. get the I get so them days, so you know, like, all right, working in the restaurant business mm -hmm. and shit, they usually want you on like weekends and mm -hmm. shit. And, like any other time, the weekdays, it's like it's not that crazy. So like and I do open mics on like weekdays. So like I work the mornings for them particular days and then weekends, it's like it's whatever. Like right, they right. might throw like throw a fucking goddamn Weekend, bro. Don't start, nigga. Don't fuck it, bro. 
<laughs> continue, continue, continue talking. Put I produce a it, fart, man. a farted again. Bro, no, I don't like the way he, nigga, we about to start the podcast like the way he, in like two seconds. I don't like the way he leaned <laughs> forward. <dude. laughs> That's the part that nigga leaned right. Oh, yes, what there, you there, instead there, of leaning, there, instead of leaning back like Fat Joe, <laughs> that nigga lean forward. A lean front. Always farting. Damn, nah, DJ. Bro. Don't edit this shit out either, nigga. Nigga, so open <laughs> open mics, working, <laughs> and fucking bitches. Nigga, Kaki's sick. <laughs> Come over there. Kaki's sick. God, I don't I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just mentally preparing myself for the smell that will linger. Right? <laughs> nigga, you nose, want the calm before the storm. I'm, I'm preparing nigga. the smell. <laughs> I want no calm before it, motherfucker. Uh-huh, this is storm. I calm. This is about to be a whole hurricane <laughs> of gas. <laughs> Aaron, you need an enema. But anyway. Continue, brother. Continue, oh, bro. Mike. Or but, mm. but you find you find a way to make sure your schedule is still legit. Yeah, because it's like, I mean, it's COVID, so it's like, I can't really book shows, and everybody that do want to book shows, it's all cover shit, and I'm not no cover artist, so fuck that. I'm not about to. Right, it right. Same here. Same here. I haven't, I haven't performed since COVID. Yeah, so that I shit, want to. That, but... Yeah. But then again, the open mics, it's enough. This is, It's enough. I get tilt. Oh yeah, especially oh, yeah. if you with the right people, you jam with the right people because I jam with everybody at the open mic. Right, so like, right, right. that's what's up. I miss whatever. It. Mm. I miss it. Oh yeah. So what about you, my friend Tayshawn? Man, how I'm... you manage your time in an orderly fashion within a week? My life is pretty simple. Go to work, go home, go to church. Uh, during the week, you know, I work usually Tuesday through Friday, but now I'm starting a new shift, so I'm be working Tuesday through Saturday on third. So I got to find a way. Not to sleep all day. What's the um hour? Yeah, that's third. a shitty part. So I, it'd be if I coming in and pass out medicine, it'd be tw- ten thirty, okay, to nah. six, which is not bad at all. He's a vampire. But ten thirty six, that ain't bad. Yeah, but, but well, I started off uh, PM. I started off my uh, regular uh, yeah PM, PM to six AM. Yeah. that's not bad. I started my jo- uh, serious job working a third shift, so it really doesn't bother me. But one thing I didn't like, I used to sleep a lot, sleep a lot during the day. That's going to so happen. So now yeah. I got to balance. That's going to happen. So now I got to balance, you know, not sleeping all day. He's going to be a vampire. Doing, yeah, so I got to figure that out. But once I figure that out, I should be straight. I didn't really want to work night shift, but I mean, hey, it's money, so. Yeah. Got oh, yeah. Got to put money on the table. You put bread on the table, you know what I'm saying? I agree. I feel like um, it's very well, how important. How about your schedule, bro, Seth? My schedule is most hectic. Yeah, truck drive. You know, <laughs> I drive trucks. So, CDLs. you know, uh, shout out to my truck drivers out there. Be safe on that road, especially, uh, especially during the snow. I know the snow down there in Texas. Y'all be careful on 95 westbound. Y'all be careful. Anyway, um, my schedule is a bit somewhat hectic. Um, I just, I mean, start, normally starts about 3.45, 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm. And it ends between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Mm. on average. But then after that, I'm still not finished. I'm going to either, you know, like on a weekend, I'm going to try to do a podcast. You know, as soon, it's going to be more hectic trying to get real estate license, you know, right. shit like that. Right. So it, you got to have a balance. For me, you know, I always, my problem was I always burn a candlestick on both sides, you mm. know, and shit. You only live once. Hey, as long as I'm, I have enough sleep to make sure I can drive a truck and do what I'm doing. Hey, I'm good. I'm about to say, yeah, because every time I talk to you, man, man you be everywhere. Yeah, you yeah. Uh, God, Charlie, be Charlie, like, yeah, I, 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 I like call, yeah. You be on the phone like, yeah, I'm coming back in town right now. Damn, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. They getting women coochie like, Georgia and shit. I'll yeah. be back in Wilmington though, about an hour. You know, <laughs> you still in Georgia. I'll be back about an hour though. Hour and a half, I'll be there. Facts. Hey, you got to, I feel, you got to balance the sleep ratio mm. and the family ratio. I feel like that's Bags, really important. Definitely, definitely. That's that's you know, because when I I could come home, I could be tired as hell. Mm. I see my little my little son. Mm. I'm recharged. I'm yep. charged up. Yep. I gotta see my son. You know what I mean? Mm. But you know, fuck being sleepy. I gotta see my son. I gotta mm-hmm. hang out with my little Nuki for a little bit. But make time for things that are important. You got oh, to. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's exactly what I do. The hardest thing I have in my schedule, real talk, is having a podcast. I have to deal with everybody. Else's schedule. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Now that's what we're fucking. Tez. You know I ain't never. You know I ain't never around. Niggas like Tay ain't coming. Tay normally he's you know he's like a he's like a Yu Gi Oh card. He hard to come out. You know what I mean? Egyptian dog card. You got you know like a spade. He like I got a three and a pop. Tall other cards down some of this. This shit. Facts. You right. I'm Amari. I look. I try to hit up Amari. Her ass said I ain't doing no Zoom call. I hit up Boost. He probably oh, sleep. 
Either that or getting some yams. Yeah. Um, um, Amsterdam. Um. He's yamless. Huh? Number them collard greens. <laughs> and I ain't talking about green beans, potato, tomato. Anyway, but yeah, you gotta Mac make time for things that are important. <laughs> Definitely. And um, Definitely. when it comes to the podcast, I just work about everybody else's time. Mm. If I don't, <laughs> then I have acquaintances. <laughs> I have friends I could bring on here and, you know, do a podcast and shit. But I ain't trying to exclude anybody out. <laughs> else out, you know? So, oh, I'm grimy. I'm an ass. So, you know, I got to keep it real. That you know what I mean? Timmy Tom. Anyway. Um, Timmy, let's, had, Timmy having a random white person. <laughs> he said a <I'm> random. <laughs> Nigga, don't be in tune or nothing. Talk. Nigga, don't be in tune or nothing. Nigga, just be like, mm, yep, mm, yep, mm, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all leave. Hey, <laughs> most definitely. Hey, that ass. Y'all try no, to cloud. The shitty part about having a podcast, like when you want niggas on here, they don't say nothing because they like camera shy. <laughs> you feel me? Like it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's, I get that a lot. But I realize that's why I keep y'all on here. Mm. That's why y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, the, um, the cast. Y'all the cast. You know what I mean? I know yeah, y'all yeah. gonna talk some bullshit, some shit I may not agree on. But that's, that's the niggas talking though. Not right. talking, right? Right. I do have that a lot. I have some people. If you look at some of my old episodes, they wasn't utilizing their time to the best mm-hmm. of their capability. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, now, sure. shit. I, sometimes I'll be saying shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends. It depends on the subject. I, and even yeah. even now, like when I'm really trying to um, spend my time back more into doing is reading. Mm-hmm. Like I used to love reading as a kid, like educating myself. And even now I watch a lot of documentaries and like shit on TV. Mm-hmm. But actually diving into a book is so much different, bro. Yeah. Like even today, man, I had to go to the I went to the library, I had to pay $36 to get my damn <laughs> library uh, card renewed, bro. Cause I had a book that I didn't return. You feel me? Oh. And that's been year, dude. It's been years. I haven't been to the library. So like 36. And I was like, man, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run it, walk in there. Renew my shit, and I, I actually found some really nice books. I got a Langston Hughes book right now. Okay. And I got the 1898 What's uh, that shit in oh, Mayfair? Book. That shit in Mayfair, that bookstore. Bars and Nobles. Bars and Nobles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, they got a variety lit, of shit. Nigga, that yeah, shit they, lit. They got a variety of a lot of different things. books, names. nigga? See, Bruh. my shit used to be Books A Million. Shout out to Ooh. my nigga Matt, Matthew. We used to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards at Books A Million. Just to get yeah. 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 He like, man, don't put the, Yo, you go, hey, look, I can see right now, man, don't talk episode, about that, don't talk about bro, that. The crazy part is about Yu-Gi-Oh playing, bro, is like, the show and then actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh, nigga, it be quiet as fuck, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. niggas just like, they studying their deck and shit, niggas like, like, like chess players, motherfucking people. Yeah, bro, <laughs> literally, uh, it's the same shit, yeah. bro, that shit yeah. crazy as fuck. No, you gotta read. You gotta read those. Yeah, you do gotta read. Yeah, bro. Yeah, tell you, man. You like, to, read them, but just to. something that it does to your mind. Like, it's just stimulating. Mm. And it's and even if you don't read, they got audio books, motherfucker. There's no sense in I can't listen. knowing them. I'd rather, I rather, because I used to have a comprehension problem growing mm. up. So, like, my mom used to tell me, like, I was in third grade. I remember I used to read, 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 read. And my teacher was like, he likes reading. He reads a lot, but he doesn't understand, understand what, what he's, he's reading. reading. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, you well, how can I overcome this? Shit, and my bro. mom was like, put yourself in the story. Like, whatever's going on, whatever you're reading, imagine it being yourself. So now, Hey, shout out to Dede Mom. I ain't seen her in, in some like time. How's she doing? <laughs> She's doing great. She's doing great. Shout out to the moms. Hell yeah. And so, like, I would just envision myself every time I read a book. I was like, okay, he said he was on the sidewalk feeling lonely. I would imagine myself, whatever that character Whatever the situation was going right, on in the right. book, I would put myself there and I'm like, help me better understand what I was reading. So, yeah, man, reading this was one of my yeah. biggest hey. passions. Oh, he yeah. was one of the ones reading rainbow. I was more like, the between the lines. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you don't know about that boy. You too, <laughs> you too young for that boy. Come in, how you begin. Oh, you're That was my shit. shit. We don't know if Hager I know why I'm a clear Hang on My oh, shit Longer Yo None of that shit, boy That was my Yo, yo That, that was, was that shit How about, um This one right here I wish I wish With all my heart oh, To fly oh, with dragons In the land, land of hearts Yeah Boom yeah. Boom yeah. Nigga <laughs> I'm like, yo, your parents that's know. Hey, that's fat. Hey, that's how you know we were broke. We had no <laughs> hey, we had PBS. So no, you fumbled the electric company. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Nigga, the electric company. See, nigga. they don't know about uh, banana and big hey, diamonds. You guys. They don't know about that. Hey, 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 h
Nigga. Come on, bro. Nigga. Come on, Cyber bro. Chase. Hacker, Cyber man. Chase. Come on, man. Cyber Come Chase was that shit. Motherboard, nigga. Motherboard. I ain't gonna lie. Cyber Chase was that shit. Come on, mother, bro. You can make it. <laughs> That's that throwback. Bananas. Big jumpers. Clifford. Big all that shit. Big down man. the stairs. That's that throwback. Y'all don't Damn, know about that. Damn, Petrol. Rough, rough, man, nigga. Five o'clock. Rough, rough, man, yeah. Five o'clock, nigga. Well, nigga, I remember when they put Warrior Girl on there. Even <laughs> Warrior, Warrior Girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> this shit feels good. Gala Gala Island. But anyway. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh this nigga old. Oh, this nigga old. <laughs> anyway. That's not great. Too many throwbacks. That's, some, that's, that's many. some throwbacks. Oh, boy. Yeah, good. That's a whole nother Hard episode. Right. That's yes, a whole nother sir. episode, sir. Woo. Because these kids don't know nothing about yeah, that. They don't know about that. I'm happy you was fond of reading. I didn't start reading until I was really 10 years old. Man, I used to. And my grandmother, she was, she was a high school teacher and she actually really sat down and showed me how to get over my dyslexia. Now I just don't have dyslexia no more. It's just, I mean, yeah. I still have it, but it's like I do the Matrix. You know what I mean? I died. What's that girl? Oh, you grew out of it. You grew out of it. Yeah, Literally had dyslexia. Is that she was talking or? about. Oh, she is? She only fan. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit, my fault. <laughs> her shit. Nigga, her shit. person. 20, her shit, $25 per nude, nigga. Oh, Bella Thorne, cool. nigga, from yeah. Shake It Up, nigga. Oh, what? <laughs> Shout out to my... CC and Rocky, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> anybody who's actually making money from OnlyFans. I know Izzy and some Fire. other people may not agree. Nah, pause. You gotta make money. Hey, it's Stop trolling my nigga on fucking Facebook, bro. Fucking AJ, bro. Leave that nigga alone, bro. That shit, bro. Mr. Pollock? Yes, Mr. My dog, Pollock. You saw yeah. that shit, nigga? Nah, I didn't see it, but I... <laughs> I, I rocked hey, that nigga. Nah, I rocked that nigga. You saw that shit, nigga? I rocked that nigga. I rocked that nigga. I rocked that nigga. Me and my man AJ go way back, like 2016 type uh, shit, man. Shout, shout out to AJ. Nah, but he said something about OnlyFans because it was like... The post was... They are... Normalizing uh, Prostitution. prostitution, same And then he was like, well, he don't fuck with OnlyFans. It was like, if you got a power with it, delete me. After that, nigga started trolling. Oh, uh, you said if you got a problem with it, delete. Everybody's nigga. mindset like, is what? different. I, I mean, sh- he don't. Got, I mean, you got to make money. I support, I, I support anybody. I Drop your OnlyFans down below, and I'll give you five dollars. Damn, you get five dollars for only. My whole That's thing is, I'm not about to spend more than five dollars. <laughs> Fuck no, I might spend six. I'm feeling good that day. Fuck well, no. six. Don't definitely don't go to the strip club, brother. <laughs> Shout goes, out all your strip earnings. Club, Shout nigga, out to my homeboy. Hey, it's it's app, nigga, it's an app. Last time we been to school, shout out to my nigga Carrie. He went there with five dollars and he still had. I'm a not strip about to go to the strip club just to get blue balls. I'm not. No, fuck no. I'm not about to spend a thousand dollars to get blue balls. You gotta everything. God, you're not to have money. fun. You gotta hang out. Money go home. You gotta hang out. Show Uncle Elroy one time. Hey, the the I'm not about to throw. I'm not about to throw cash to get blue balls. You don't have fun. What you doing here in my house? Who the fuck throw a thousand dollars out to have fun, nigga? Hey, look, somebody that got it. I did before. I did before. I did. Shout out to my strippers, Dave. They making money. I need one of them to uh, dance to one of my songs. I know, you know, somebody. That's how that music really be bump, bumping. You know dancing I mean? like a stripper. But um, I want to switch subject. Let's switch subject on. Let's talk about a serious topic before I some get, education. Not, <laughs> do you want to talk about some educational we, shit? We talk about nigga, you, man, man, you, you talk about the strip hey, for strippers to education. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's what we do on Great Ages. I'm trying to flip versatile. You, know, you feel me? Shout out to my strippers yeah, popping that thing. For some shout out to cheetahs. At this point. Huh. Shout out to Cheetahs. <laughs> I was in Kim the K and Kanye, my nigga. No, you said who? I ain't talking about Anywho. Kim K and Kanye. I ain't about <laughs> you talk about that divorce situation yes, that occurred? Nigga, six oh, years. Man, I don't want to talk about that, man. Oh, well, so see, we switch. 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 We're going to do all it. Will Smith. Su- we're switch. Su- we're switch. <laughs> switch. It was we're an entanglement, subject, nigga. But look, let me say this. Sad. Anytime I see divorce happening, because I'm married now, of course. It's like, yes, you know how many divorces Kim K didn't have, nigga? <sighs> when she children is involved, it changes the equation. But she not wasting shit because she got money. <laughs> My motherfucking man. <laughs> Paul, yeah, they got a child the whole time. A they child. Got four. They got three. four. I, I four. forgot four. about three that. Or four. What's that nigga name? Fact check me. I don't know. North, no, got, North, North, North West, yeah. Two daughters or maybe they two. They got two or three. I don't know. three daughters and one son. When children involve, it changes the equation. I want, like me, unconsciously, I want parents to be together when the church is a while. It might Ray not J happen. Yeah. That baby. Boy, but, you know, I always say things about... Ray J uh, should have had that baby. That's fine. I don't know what's making you say that. Yeah, I don't know what's making you say that. We coming up with that. Oh, Ray J had that. I hit it first. Sit your ass down. Leave my nigga Kanye alone. Man, I will say this, man. It will make or break your relationship depending on where y'all stand having children. 
Yeah, it's That's totally true. different. Who the problem is, the problem is, you got a lot of people different. who have children with the wrong people. Mm. But I feel like no That's child, another like, topic. no child is a mistake. It's kind of like no, no child is a mistake. Right? It's kind of like they in that like rich status. Rich people hang out with rich people. Middle class people hang out this with middle class Aaron people. Aaron ain't shit. Hood <laughs> niggas like, hang out with hood niggas. You got me. You confused. might you might mix it up what every once in a while. Here? That might be the case. Confused. No, but no, no. What I'm saying I'm fused, is, fused, nigga. The only reason, bro, all the confusion. I know you coming from. I mean, it's a joke. Bro, I was. I know where you coming from. Like, I don't know. I'm just. I'm about to switch subject, but I'm gonna say this. I feel like anybody who's about to be having a divorce, if the relationship is toxic, I was fooling. Then have a divorce. However, if it's not. Me sit down and see if you can come up. Done. If it's really, you can work on it. A lot of people don't work on each other. Me and Blue got back each together. Other anymore. Oh, they don't even work on themselves. By, by David and Eric. You know? Let's switch subject. Nigga, what did you say? <laughs> Let's switch subject. I'm going to talk come about this. Come behind that tree. <laughs> and sit up in that tree. What the fuck these niggas laughing about? <laughs> God, <laughs> God, what? I'm going to laugh too, right? Geeky, nigga. <laughs> I do want to talk about this. Yeah, he he, he. <laughs> a geeky hell. I don't even know what they look. Like, I'm mad because I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Why they think so? Why does it look like he's he trying to take a shit? He says, eyes red. Stay <laughs> just a little <laughs> bit longer. <laughs> they good. Shut up. Please, please, please tell me you're going to. <gasps> Diane, you spoke a fool. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Anyway, I can't you might have to edit that part. But anyway. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he said, no, I don't know what the fuck they talking about. Hey, look. Hey, Anywho. Anywho, I'm going to talk about this, though. Oh, the importance of... I know I know mm. Day Day wanted to talk about black history. Not till I get my Malcolm X I'm not trying shirt. to talk about black history right now. Let's talk... Before we talk about that, and it's very important to talk about black history. But I want to talk about colorism, and I want to talk about people brown nosing. Let it go. So before... <laughs> Let that shit go. Hang on, hang on. Hey, look. <laughs> Tim, go. Mr. Timothy, Darrell, Akeem, what you Napoleon, mean? and Daniel Jr. <laughs> before we get into colorism, why don't you give the people a definition of exactly what colorism is and maybe it set the tone for the table exactly wow. what, hmm. what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So two topics in one. No, I don't want you to go over colorism first, Let, sir. Before we go off of colorism, brown nose... All right, so colorism... Mm -hmm is when you basically consciously or unconsciously What? <laughs> 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 it's broken. I'm sorry. It's broken. Yeah, 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 you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. One ball was and this nigga got we gas. Right. Right. I can't wait to pour that goddamn air in the whole time. I can't have a podcast boy. today. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 I can't, I can't right now. I'm so sorry. Colorism oh. is this. It's basically racism within your own race. people with, within uh, your own people, your own your own melanin skin. It could also happen with uh, white people, in a sense. Russians have a for, not maybe a form of colorism, but you know, Asians, Japanese, you, you dark melanin in your skin. Wait a minute, Indian, you know. So what I'm getting at is colorism shit. happens. My definition of colorism is being racist against your own, as far as if you lighter, stink or meter, right? Boom that's exactly that's what my it definition. Is. That's exactly what it is, but it also stems niggas. from the history of where that comes from. Where that come from? Because dark skinned people back. But where that come from? Slavery days were you were out, you were filled, nigga. If you were lighter skinned, you were in the house, in the house, right? But the p reason that those people were even light skinned is because they were related. To the slave masters. The exactly. slave masters left. Because they, they saw them beautiful African bodies mm -hmm. and they were attracted to them and they wanted to sometimes maybe it wasn't uh consensual, but at the same but you know Let me pull a Ted token. The black and the berry, the sweet and the <laughs> Have y'all ever seen the J. Cole? What was that? Um nah, Get off my dick. Get off my dick. G O M D. G O M D, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah, tell yeah. you all about it, because you know J. Cole is a fair scam mm -hmm. brother. And you have all the light skin, or excuse me, the darker skin brothers in the field, and they kind of mean mugging them. Mm -hmm. But that has transcended into, you know, modern times as not even, of course, us darker skin people have a uh, stigma, tone, a yeah. stigma mm -hmm. against lighter skin people. Like, uh, you even see the memes I on Facebook how light skin like dudes fall. Like, yeah. they all like, you know, <laughs> they, they consider it more soft and mm -hmm. not, you know, because. I guess in our minds with the, you know, 
institutional. But colorism is very institutional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a really is a thing. Um, I, I know is. there's some people. We look in at Jamaica and in, in, Af- in different countries, the lighter you are, it's pretty much the softer you are. Yep. They mm-hmm. they bleach their skin to acquire lightness because they feel like um, they treat it different. <laughs> That's the we difference. Michael Jackson, play, play, Michael Jackson, Jackson. Okay. no, no, I'm happy you oh, say oh, that. He playing, he say he playing. Uh, How about Michael Jackson had Virago, whatever that he weird. He had his skin condition. <laughs> whatever. He said Virago. He said Virago. Virago. Mercy Lago, I don't know. He had that, that skin there. And Lamborghini the Mercy. He had that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, real, has, he had that skin, you know, that skin condition. But, um, what? No. um, I need people. I, I, my whole thing is, is, is this. Look, besides the colorism, I really want to, before we talk oxygen, about that, but you could believe you could I want to talk Woo. about the brown nosing. <laughs> now break that down. The brown nosing is when you're talking about this. When, uh, oh, I heard it. like <laughs> they ain't hear it, but you heard it. I just when a black jewel. person sell out others in a game for the for themselves, and a prime example even in TV would be Tim. In, um, Tim, before you before you keep before you go on, just please get to your story so so we can just say to let it go. <laughs> so you can just let it go. Django was a prime example. That one that one character Samuel Jackson played. Right. That nigga was a Your brown nose. Fat. That's a that's a prime example of brown nose. Shut up. That's my dad, bro. Who's that's your dad? F- Samuel. Samuel? Motherfucker. He about to get sued. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you got me fucked the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> motherfucker. Say another motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. Yo. But I, um. Yeah, that shit ain't. But nah, like though. my, I had, I had. So I'm gonna give you an example why I want to talk about the subject. I had a, a teacher. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I break it down without <laughs> giving them away. Shit. I had, I had a Fart, teacher. Dude. I had a teacher who basically uh, there was there was of course teaching, but they go. never Let gave me go. constructive criticism to be a better talk about person. No more. You know what I mean? And like, well, why they got to do this and that? If you teach, then you should have some form of moral value to make sure all your students do the best that they could do mm-hmm. to the capability of your teaching, right? Mm-hmm. And they, this person was literally f- brown nosing in the sense of making sure he followed everything by the book. Mm-hmm. There's nothing, I guess, wrong with that. I'm not telling this person to go against, you know, following mm-hmm. by the book, but he followed everything by the book to make sure I be detained. To make sure I, I get suspended in, in for small stuff, very very small stuff. Not getting the fights. I might have a little argument. Oh, you got to get suspended. I'm gonna try to get it suspended. Anyway, they brown know so much to move up to become an assistant principal. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, here you are a black man. Oops, shit. I'm gonna give out the gender. Here you are a black man. You're a black teacher. You can't pull me to the side and give me constructive criticism. Instead, you just punish and without dictating how. To help me out as a black, a young black man, freshman year, you know what I mean? What I'm getting at is, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting at is, and maybe I am having a little bit of shade, but yeah. there's a danger behind that in the educational perspective. Of course. That's why we need more black knows, male teachers. More we do need black, more black teachers. You're absolutely right. Especially just male. Black, teach- yes, black, black male, male you, teachers. Especially black male teachers. That's why I can't you wait brown to become nose, one. Follow everything by the book to make sure you solidify you becoming a principal. But well, why does that, but who is determining whether that person becomes a principal? Because it's not another brother that's in charge. No, it wasn't. The principal was white. So sometimes you have to think about it. No, I black, one black sisters though, or black brothers at Merch, neither hire nor like that. fire. Morrisville had one black teacher. No. So sometimes we. All day. It's the so question much comes selling is selling out. It's more of. Is so, it, so the question that, so I'm saying question, is, yeah. is, it, is it selling out? The fact that he didn't, like, okay, Tim, I'm going to try to write you up. I need you to get suspended because he was allowed in the classroom. But she never set me down and gave me constructive. But did he treat every other student the same way that he 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 treated you? No. No. So Because his white constituents treated mm. much more, less severely than than somebody black like me. He's dating a white woman. Hmm? Unfortunately, I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking that. No, 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 no. I'm not. I can't. the black man of oh, my white woman. His, his right. girlfriend. Not, that has yeah. nothing to do with that. I don't know. That's, that, that, that has nothing to do with that. No, I'm saying his I'm job. I'm talking about the job perspective. No, no. The job perspective. No. His relationship has that nothing nigga. to do with that. You know what? Right now, I don't like you because 
his 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 female that he's dating that he was dating at the time. Mm-hmm. It's actually not white. She's Latino. No, she's <laughs> she's nigga. black. She's very very light, very light skin. You know what I mean? So but that big. has something to do with she's what I'm talking black, about right now. You're joke. killing me, fucking Smalls. You're smalls fucking killing me. Right, 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 right. What he's saying that is... That has nothing to do with, with what I'm talking about. He's alienating his own he people alienated, in, o- in order to he's progress a black man. In within his own job. Yeah, that's, I'm a that's freshman in high school. Shit. You come yeah. to the side is that, as a and give me... Can, just uh, just give me I'm not even saying that I don't care about the consequences that's of my actions hard. no but give as a me freshman, constructive though, criticism as a freshman give me constructive as criticism as a black a freshman, as an educator you're a mm. freshman in fucking pause hold up that's not it what but this nigga a freshman in high school I'm a nigga. freshman in high school he's uh. an educated black man who is happened to be my teacher mm. he's about to become assistant principal like, but like, so he's what's following good? every rule in the book to do that to become my it's like niggas in fast food. I hate that shit. Look, you know, bro. be that one nigga in there that fucking got down. He's kissing ass. I'm gonna get that he's like, brown nosing. Mm. He's kissing ass <laughs> to <laughs> actually. Everybody at, at, in my some... question is: Do you think I'm? Qu- do you think I'm sorry to interject? <clears throat> Go ahead. My question is: If you know somebody to be kissing ass and move up in the job, is that brown nosing? I that think the stupid. person I'm talking about is the you know difference you, between you know who you are. Is the difference between overachieving? Mm. And really being the best at what you do in order to move up. And then there's a difference between, don't you fucking fart. And there's a difference between throwing people. Oh, <laughs> oh, that nigga did that. that <laughs> there was like, there was like, a, there was like a, excuse me, excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. You didn't want to was like, I thought he was going to let one go. But there's a difference also between throwing people under the bus to get to success yeah, and yeah, stepping over yeah. people and, and saying, oh, this guy didn't do this. And there's the difference because. When you outwork everyone else, you earn what you get. But when I go to my boss and I say, and I'm a brother, Timothy's a brother, I say, hey, man, look, man, I know y'all considering the new management job. I know Tim's been here for a while, but I've been on a couple of rides with him and he don't really do X, Y, Z. That's when you brown those because you're doing whatever it takes, regardless of who was Ooh, involved yeah. to get what you want. Instead of going the other That's way and saying, hey, I don't have to come in, throw him right? under the bus. All I have to do is lead by example. Hmm. My work ethic and what I put in should elevate me to the next level. Not the one that you right. are. That's yeah. when you... Like, and that's what I thought. It talking, granted, yeah, it, bro, granted it, I could, it could just be in my mind. Like, yeah. It could just be in my mind. However... But it happens amongst brothers. It yes, happens it does. amongst brothers. Yes, it does. So let me yes, ask you all this question now that it happens amongst brothers. The competition. Have what I've been through ever happened to you? Uh, Tay, Ted, Day Day, uh, Brown nosing. No, not really. But um, <clears throat> or maybe it was there. You just didn't. But what I it. said last time, y'all really kind of jumped down my throat. But what nah, I was nah, saying nah, was nah, like, nah, like nah, um, was you know, <laughs> I felt like the black <laughs> edu- Yeah, what, what 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 you were saying? What Tim was saying? You wish you would have sat your side, but that's the same mm-hmm. thing with uh some black teachers. I felt mm-hmm. like. If I was cutting up, yeah, it's my duty to act right and that, and I should know better. But as a older black person who's mm-hmm. educated, and me coming up the ranks, I felt like instead of telling me in front of the class, you're not going to be nothing. Because I have that. You're not going. Are you going? You're going to be on the street. Okay, just, just because, just because wait, I'm acting out, especially in front of. A I, lot but of I feel people. like now, as an older, I look at you could have pulled me to the side and said, "Hey, look." What you're doing right now, you're going down the wrong Especially path. Especially as a child. They're, they're laughing with you now. Child. But in years later, at when when it's time to graduate, they're gonna be laughing at you. Right. Here's yeah. here's a two edged sword to that. Because some black educators maybe feel like they cannot be biased to being, you know, more lenient toward black people. That's kids. very, it, very true. But sometimes they should be in a way that they're saying, Pause. okay, because but why you we, not? To, there should be this understanding. Learn, and listen, uh, as I'm a, I'm men a, in general, I'm, we learn different I'm than women. A thousand yep. Not only just men, black men, on we have shit. a we have a different uh, mind. Uh, we have a different mm. what do you call it? Perspective. Uh, not perspective. We have a Concept. different uh, brain thought. How you pay attention? Oh, okay. okay. Attention awareness. Span. We have a different okay. way of learning. We have a different way that we that we adapt and learn. So it is up to black educators, mm-hmm. sometimes white educa- educators in general, to understand how 
black young men learn because when That's we get true. to a certain age our our brains change along with of course with everyone else but with us it's a lot different because we have to figure out how to live in society right right we're, exactly we're, we're, and maybe in yeah. a, i'm gonna let you finish but maybe that teacher wanted to put you to the side but said man look i got i just got this job man i got my kids i, right, I gotta treat right. everybody the same if these if these, if the principals and the and the and, and I do the, want fairness people in higher, uh, you know, seats of okay, if you power, like see that, me though. lenient. You know, but they ain't gonna, they gonna tell the, about they that. Gonna tell why the, you like, disagree? That, why do you disagree mm-hmm. with that? Ass? If you do it because, at all, all right. <laughs> fuck, it was in my head. Did you put me on the spot? So I, that shit went blank. But nah, like all right. So I had a fucking a white Italian teacher and shit. You gotta think about we're rowdy. Keep it a buck. Mm, keep it a buck. Especially in high school. We're kids. We're kids at the time. You tell me you weren't a rowdy ass kid. At I'm the saying time. not in high school, I wasn't, but the the So you were the, the quiet eight, kid. I mean, I wasn't a quiet kid, but I was a smart kid. I went to early college in high school. I gotta disagree. I will say the well, my learning style it. changes is between the fourth grade and the ninth grade. Yeah. Those exactly. are the critical yeah. those yeah. are the critical years yeah. that people have to really take. But I, I think that a lot of teachers... All right, so... But a lot of a teachers, teacher, your white Italian teacher... No, I'm no, even besides white, that, no, I even... She might not have understood how to relate to you. He, and besides that, That's I'm true. not even talking about that nigga. Damn. <laughs> the fucking teachers... All right, if you're thinking about the teachers not in this generation, but I would say five, five six years. Okay, those teachers, uh, they're no, used to seeing... The not right now. I'm like five, about six that, years ago. Yeah, oh, go. Yeah, yeah. But they've been in the game for a while. They've been seeing, besides race, they've been seeing, well, I'm going to bring race into it now. They've been seeing these certain type of kids act a certain way. So, like, when another, so pretty much, if you think about the semesters, they got these certain type of kids for one semester, and then another semester comes around. And then fucking, <laughs> they gotta deal with these other group of kids and shit. That's that falls into teacher expectations. Expectations, but this this is yeah, what yeah, I for as sure. a student. This is what I wanted when I was a freshman year. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be singled out. Mm-hmm. I didn't want any special privileges because right, he's right. black. I'm black. What I wanted is an understanding that he was once in my shoes. Give me constructive yeah. criticism. Give your students constructive criticism on how and as a child, on, on how to move. In society. Now, Freshman Tim, year, I'm going to ask you this. I wasn't did you, ha- did you have any other black of course male oh, role yeah. models in your life that guided and leaned you towards? My father, my grandfather, mm-hmm. and my uncle. I, so I, why did you feel like that you needed your teacher to be the one to put you the to the side is, and tell you? The question is, if you're going to discipline a child, mm-hmm. at least give them the audacity of why. Give them the reason of why. A Don't teacher just... is like a parent, bro. You but dare. You at that time, parent, I'm getting at you is, your teacher when I'm getting at is, parents. that when I'm and, and I'm happy you asked that question. Mm-hmm. We as people, Homo sapiens, like to have a role model, right? Mm-hmm. The 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 first role model, honestly, should be teachers. That's fine. one of my we with them all top, day. One of my day. top first role models should be seven in the o'clock home. in the yeah. fucking should be home. That's true. Fucking four, it should be home. Three, should, four o'clock. Your secondary role model should be a teacher. One of my teachers. Not teach, if it's not going to be your parent, it's going to be somebody mm-hmm. that your parent knows. It's either going to be a family member or it's going to be someone in your religious, religious group. group right. And then it falls on the teacher. All I ask the for the teacher of to do because there are so be many school, other. Right? You're going to be Situation. in school, so like you need to fucking find. But your teacher ha- is, has to be the second Come parenting. But then again, you're there from seven o'clock. If you got to, bro, we're not talking about we're not activity. talking about elementary school, or middle school. No, think I'm, about freshman year. But that too, you got to think about. It. You're a fucking child. You're going off of what the fuck you see, like automatically, right. bro. Like, but let me ask you this: whatever if, they're showing, if you and sorry to interject, if you get in. If you if you get disciplined, to to come in, if you're I, getting I just, disciplined, right? Yeah. Uh, you know you, you're getting disciplined you. for, and you don't know why the why factor. It's just like if a police officer pull you over, you want to know why mm-hmm. you're getting pulled over. Because some of those people in the education system are not taught how to deal with the behavior of these children, of young black children. Because the their first their first Good, instinct bougie. is to do what. Suspend them. Suspend, Suspend them. them. ISS. That's not t- get rid of them. 
Just get him out of my class. That's not going to solve the situation. Instead of trying to no, understand. Pause. No, pause on that. Nah, because I had a black teacher, Mr. McCall. Shout out to that nigga. I fucked up, bro. <laughs> Hands down. That nigga gave me so many chances to the point. It took him a couple of months. But see, I didn't like, even want like, chances. You got to fucking go to, go to ISS. Right, right. Like, I'm but see, you, like, he gave you like chances. Class clown, yeah. What he, I he only think you inch. didn't get no chances. He gave me an inch, yeah, yeah. and he you wanted the whole life. You took a whole damn yeah. out. I didn't even want that. I just wanted the the reason of why. I feel like I was being singled out. But Tim, the white you... the white constituents I've seen who did worse than what I did mm -hmm. didn't get suspended. When but I get in trouble, uh -huh. oh, it's like, oh, we got suspended. Yeah. But sometimes that's tough love. Is that sometimes. is it really? Sometimes. You think it's tough love? Sometimes. What do, what does a child learn from being suspended? Sometimes you learn not to do that shit again. What does a child get? Sometimes you learn. Some niggas don't learn. The ass whooping. That's true. I got suspended one time and I never got suspended that's again. That's their that's their own. It's just different. Their circumstances different strokes so for different giving folks. you an ass The reason why I brought up this topic, I'm gonna tell you why. It is very important for anybody being in the teaching community. Shout out to the teachers out there grinding and actually making sure that they pay hard, attention. Money, yeah. That's going to be education my, is hard. My future profession is going to be in teaching. That is very hard. That's what, what I'm, I'm getting do. at is if you're going to discipline the child, if they're doing wrong, have the common courtesy, some, the decency mm -hmm. to at least explain to them why? But guess what? But Tim, some be, teachers really. aren't there to get to know you and love you. No, no. Some, some teachers, teachers I've been told by money. I've been told yeah. by black teachers that I would be absolutely nothing. And, it and look a, at me it, now. You right. know who you are. Right. But so that's true. That's bitch ass number one, bitch ass number two, that's, bitch ass number three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. That all is bitches. the difference mm -hmm. that we have to that's make as mean. black educators. Me, that's why I want to come into the field because if I was ever, when I when I do become a teacher. If I sit my kids down and I do Black History Month, it's not going to be about Rosa Parks. I mean, it could be about Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's going to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. I really want Black children and Black people mm -hmm. to understand where their real their real roots and history stem from. And it's beyond the civil rights but fucking do you, movement. But, but do you think you can do that in a, a white... Uh... Institution. I'm the teacher. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can. I you can, can follow yes, curriculum. Yes, you can, you, can be, yes you can be the teacher. Yes, you, you can something. be the teacher. But they, they some people, they might report. Tell you, I'm gonna tell you like this. Okay, what's up? I'm gonna tell you like this because I remember sixth grade, MCS Noble Middle School. I remember my teacher. I don't remember her name, but you know who you are. It's Tim. <laughs> but uh, but I remember she um she talked about slavery, mm -hmm. and she made it like almost um a normalcy like. Black people were a commodity. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, this is how people live. They couldn't grow their crops without slaves. They couldn't survive without slaves. And I remember we talked about the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. And she made us stand up and stand uh, front to back to show us how they were on the um, trains when they were being transported to the concentration camps. And I was, I, and that's how I was, man, 11, 12 years old. And I will never forget how much she copped a plea for Jewish people. Yeah. But made Black these people, slaves yeah. sound like they were such a commodity. Uh, which is a, revenue which is an African Holocaust. That's that's exactly that, it is a but Holocaust. be because it didn't happen in this land because any person that writes history wanna white out their sins. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk about the bad that they had to do to get into the position of power that they were in. Mm. They just want to talk about what they did when they got the power. So when I look at that, it just made me think. And I still to this day think, wow, like I remember this lady made us pretend we were on a train car, like we were Holocaust victims. But when it came to slavery, it was just a uh, normal yeah. thing. Let's to just do. sweep it. It's just yeah, sweep so it was okay. Get it's over, what they had to do. It, yeah. Right. And it's it was just, sadness. you know, and I, I believe that black men out there, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself, we have to be the difference makers in the school system. Black women. And let you me know. Pull black young kids to the side and let them know that they can. Because I used to have a black teacher. I'm going to say her name, Miss Jones. And I don't know if you are still alive, but I remember she would alienate me, talk down to me. She knew my aunt too at the same time. So maybe it made ass nigga, you need to get your shit together. She didn't tell me one time, you see that door? Let it hit you in the back. I was like, damn, Miss <laughs> Jones. You have to handle nigga like that. But, you know, we have to let, uh, we have to, be um, more inclusive. We have to include the parents. parents. And let me add on to that. Let me add on to that. Um, let me interject. It is 
imperative, parents, that you do not let the educational system, the curriculum ch- system, mm-hmm. control all the information right. your child is getting. You have the power. You have a right. very, very big priority of adding <laughs> knowledge to your child. Mm-hmm. And the most important thing you can add to your child, honestly, and I'm 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 a first time dad. I only got a one year old, right? Is <laughs> is 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 basically um self discipline. Mm-hmm. If you can harness your child to learn how to be self disciplined, they can sit down, go through the good, the bad, the ugly times of learning things right. that they may not understand. They can learn absolutely everything. That's why I think it's important for us to build the black community up again because, like you were saying, it starts at home. Then it starts with mm-hmm. the community. Mm-hmm. It starts with the next door neighbor, right. and then the neighbor down there. But I'm gonna be honest. I gotta interject. Yeah. I I live at a, in a fairly decent apartment place. My neighbors, I don't fuck with my neighbors, and they don't we fuck with me. We're talking about being what, what do youth, you mean? black youth, though. Yeah, black, black youth. youth. Yeah, we're talking what about do you mean by... I have to be specific I'm talking me. about, let's say... Niggas ask you, did you... It starts with your parents. It starts about how you're raised. Ask, right. You because there's homework. no way, like, all of us black men can come into the same capacity and have the same feelings and thought processes about the same things without having, excuse me, a great foundation as to how we were raised. True, that's true. Because I can go into a school system and my mom would tell me, I tell my mom, hey man, these kids are making fun of me. I don't have good shoes. I don't I don't have good clothes. My mom would say, you're not there to have a fashion show. You're there to learn. Right. As opposed to other kids, parents who didn't uh, push education on them. Uh, maybe it was you was raised with your grandmother. Right, maybe right, right. you have a different situation. So you come to school, you like... Drip the fuck you out. don't give you know you don't <laughs> yeah. care. So sometimes that's where it all really depends. Sometimes it's like it it, it starts at home, like you said, Tay. It starts at home first, yes. and if it's not happening at home, then it kind of falls on, you know, your name, and no, then right. it falls right. on the, the teacher. Yeah. When you see one black student who is excelling, why is this student excelling? And you see his parents, and they're well educated, and then you look at the next student and. Why is this student filling my class? And I looked at his mother strung out. His father's locked right, up. Right, right. He's living right, with his grandparents. Right. I need to be a little bit more attentive to this student right. and, and, and bring him along the way to show him that he can have a life outside of what he's seeing. And that's not, right. that's not singling anybody out or, right. or special privilege. That's making a difference. Right, exactly. And, and that's the difference. Planting that, a seed. And that's why I was, uh, that's why I couldn't really interject when y'all was talking because I was just thinking, I was like, sometimes that's not, having a special privilege that's just making a difference in somebody's exactly. life because exactly. you don't never know what you could say to make somebody change and and or and to, and to add to that you never know what somebody going through exactly. exactly you never know what somebody going through go ahead and get your beer because a lot of parent teacher conferences I didn't see a lot of brothers and yeah, sisters a lot of, yeah, there. yeah exactly you know what I'm but, saying and that's so why like, and that's why that's why they're, they're not, they I really mean, don't I tell that I'm, white kid that's be, doing the same behavior you're doing as you're not going to be nothing. It. Because guess what? As soon as you say, there, I'm brother. not going to, he's not going to be anything. Seems a little shaking up there, brother. Up there. He's telling his mom and daddy. His right. mom and daddy have it. It's very yeah. important. It is very important to understand that. <laughs> it's empty, nigga. <laughs> Dude, you got to be fucking shit heavy, bro. So Dude, I'm going to say this, Look, though. man. Look, man. It's Christmas. I mean, I mean, I wasn't going to not the fuck you know, I mean, him. Think the about it like this, though. <laughs> Education is very important. You fucked up his whole vibe. You did fucked up my whole vibe. Mm-hmm. I mean, damn, the bear knocking shit down. You gonna, let, you gonna let an empty bottle fuck up your vibe? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. It's not the vibe. Check your vibes, cuz. Mm. Check your vibe. Check your vibes, nigga. Mm. It may not be the vibe. Check your vibes, kid. It may be the cause <laughs> or who knocked Niggas down who the done. bear. Anyway, <laughs> education <laughs> is important. <laughs> and you got to think about it like this. If you, if you, Constantly being bombarded with information, and you let somebody control. I am gonna whoop his ass. What you wanna, you know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what I'm getting at the reason why I brought up this topic is because teachers have power, and with yeah. power comes great responsibility. Uh, utilize shout out your teacher, you know, Uncle parent, Ben. Just bro. utilize it. If you, you know what I mean? Teacher, that, that's why I brought this up. You're and you parent. know who you are. I brought it up. I felt your class. Let it was it go. a freshman year. <laughs> <laughs> it was they let felt it, me in algebra. It was algebra. Let let they know that I ain't letting shit go. Look, they could have, I ain't asked for a freebie. I ain't let shit go. But pull me to the side. Help me. You could have helped me out. What I'm getting at is 
Some teachers sound like you want a handout, some, bro. People, I don't want a handout. <laughs> well, I'm getting that, ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen, men. What I'm getting at is, well, assert your power and harness and use it to the right capabilities you can do. If you're a teacher, you know you got power, you got students struggling, pull them to the side. You don't know what they're going through. I didn't tell you everything I was going through. It's, you know, and the thing is, you never know what somebody's going through. Granted, that also applies from the student perspective. Mm-hmm. You don't Students, know what they're going and I, if you are seeing this episode, I kind of hope not because it's rated MA. But if you are seeing this fucking episode, I'm going to tell you this. Do not have false idols. Do not look up to false idols. Do not Say look no up to, to teachers. <laughs> that too. But you are you are a king Most and a queen in yourself. Down. Make a decision what you want to do in life. P.S. I ever heard in my life. Do you Say wanna... no to drugs. Fuck you gonna say no to drugs? The you dare nigga, the dare lion, yeah. <laughs> nigga. Fuck, we out here Ra- drinking, fuck nigga. Ra- <laughs> <laughs> we drinking hard as nah, fuck but, right but now. Touching on what Tim said, like, I mean, it's it's a whole thing. Follow like, your fuck. own vibe, like be your and, own. And even back to the. Can you tell that? Uh, speaking of follow your own vibes, can you tell that story about um about how you used to get picked on because you was a smart kid and you had to figure yourself out. You know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, even with me, man, and and uh, and I, it's not it's not even like brown nosing mm. to us in the black community because we're so used to we're so used to we having the competition it. within each other that we don't even recognize. So like me, like I wasn't in middle school, elementary school. I wasn't the most athletic kid. Mm. You know what I mean? I was. You know, I, I was always a smart guy. I loved education. I loved educating myself. I loved, like I said, I loved reading. And, like, I only caught static from black kids. Mm-hmm. And I wonder, like, why is it such a bad thing from my peers and my own um, race uh, race mm-hmm. that is that they're uh, against me to be smart? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, for a while I would question, like, well, what's going on? You know, I was at a young, I didn't have my father around, you know, and I asked my mother a lot of things, and she would be very stern with me and be like, yo, don't worry about that. You, just, you go to school, you learn. You just learn. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering, like, why? I'm looking at all of us. We all at the bottom of the fucking uh, mm-hmm. food, fucking food chain. chain. Mm-hmm. So if I'm, at the, if I'm a minnow like you, why you hating on me when we got <laughs> yeah. sharks that's trying to eat us? You know what I'm saying? You like, got killer whales trying to like, eat us. It's, Fuck it's sharks. Like, it's, Orcas. It's, 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 it's you're against me and they're against us. Mm-hmm. So we're eventually going to be extinct. Mm-hmm. But what I had to learn, uh, as you were saying, Tay, like, I, as I had to learn as a young black man was just to accept who I was and not try to fit the mold, not try to be somebody I wasn't because I understood that the complex, the mentality complex of a lot of black men is is trying to be something that they're portraying us already to be. You're nothing. Oh, you're doing nothing. Hard. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse, me excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. They're they're like yo. They're the, 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 the bigger than that. It's bigger than that. The same narrative. Like the same narratives that they're putting on the it's television. It's bigger than that. Mm-hmm. It's the same narratives that we're telling ourselves that we gotta be. Yeah. I think about it like this. I gotta have can, a goal, nigga. Think Why about it like is this? it so bad to be educated? Let me interject. And he's man. right. He's right. Why? It's simple shit that a lot of black men I see try to insert a form of their insecurity. They want to have their dominance because they're insecure. Mm-hmm. I had think about it like that. Let this sink in. I had an individual, and you know who you are, <laughs> came on my podcast and had fake money. <laughs> And what I'm getting at is, <laughs> hold up, wait a minute. Right. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, hold on, wait a minute. I didn't black. say anything. I, I didn't say anything because their daughter was here. That's the only reason I didn't say anything. Oh, but what I'm, get, what I'm getting money. at is, what I'm getting at is, I'm not knocking, and you know who you are. I'm not attacking. I'm, what I'm saying is, why do men have to insert a form of dominance because? Unconsciously or consciously, they feel insecure. I have a problem well, with that. That's beyond the Mandingo education we, talk, we just talked about. I feel like That's men in subject. general have a have a. It's, like it's, Vikings, it's, it's even not even, day, bro. not even not even black men. It's in men in like general. Vikings. That's a men in what general. general. Men, Vikings. What's what's our jobs? Breadwinners, right? Well, yep. We Why go so? out. We you know, we do back in the day. We were the hunters, gatherers. We went out. The ones that got. I understand what you're saying. But what I'm saying is men, <laughs> what our mentality is from prehistoric times, 
motherfucker to the 1950s to the 60s, 70s, 80s. The man, I got, I got the man my provide, woman can't yeah. make more money than me. That's mm. why you look at even wage, uh, wage desperation. Yeah. A a female, woman, I feel like a, a woman female can should have be, the same job as a man, but make less, less money. I think a female should be equal. That's equal rights. It's, that's how it is. Too. That's been instilled in us in our DNA. Well, Men have to be the have to be the man. Mm-hmm. But apart but I, from I that is, it. I do as understand black why. people, we have to stop competing against one another. We have to stop it's saying building, who's living yeah. better than one another because at one time, all we had was each other. Right. So until we come back to those... Uh, embraces. Until of, those embraces. Of, and, I, I, and I love call, calling men and women of color brothers and sisters because that's a form of respect. Mm. I'm not going to call you my nigga. I'm going to call you my brother because right. that's a form of respect. When I call you my sister, that's a form of respecting you being a woman of color, but being in the same boat as me. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to isolate you and put you out here on a, on a damn. Because we already do it unconsciously. So right. why do it? Why try to and we don't, purposely do it? And we, we have to understand it. our history that we have been pinned against each other through levels of classism, dressing, racism, Colorism. In everything. Sexism, colorism. We are... Is the, the greatest war tactic in America is divide and conquer. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? If I can get these people to bicker among control, themselves, uh, yeah, how can, how can 20% without, yeah. of, control 80%? Mm-hmm. We are 80% of the fucking population. We're not a minority. And on top of that... We're not a minority. It's all We're about the biggest inf- It's all about information. It's all about information. It's not who you know, it's what you know. Mm. And um, the reason why I highlighted that situation, I'm being petty. I know y'all think I'm being petty. Let it go. I bring in some shit in the past. <laughs> but I wanted to See highlight. You frozen? Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> let it go. Let it go. But what I'm getting at is you got to you gotta look at the importance of how a teacher baby. impact a life. That's right, Otis. You know what I mean? I told you. You got to think about Think about Y'all had that one teacher that had yes. made an impact. So just, Shout know. out Miss Hazelwood. So Miss before Hazelwood. I start wrapping this up, because my producer looking at me like, Tim, why the fuck? Burr, Burr, Barbarian. And he's farting this shit again. What I'm getting at is this. I'm clean, oh. Can't you what, see? What? Not this time. Before Can't we start. Before we start. Oh, it's quiet. But that deadly. Cadillac. <laughs> what? <laughs> that little <laughs> popper. <laughs> what I'm getting at is. Before I talk about up, what what ch- what do y'all want to talk about before? I got two tickets. Any any close up, any stay close two. up things? Stay that okay. Got, any last Kanye. statements before I'm I talking to Tayshia? Okay. That's all I'm I need. Bring, no, I'm not bringing it up. up. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. <laughs> These niggas ain't gonna be there, man. <laughs> shit, I missed another show. Pause, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Both of these niggas like they about to take a chili shit. with cornbread or chili with rice. All right, that's man. random anyway, as fuck. Like I said, chili short with ribs in the oven. Blue go get the short ribs. But it depends on the cornbread. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. That, that crackle shit, that crackle corn, cornbread, nigga. That oh. shit can. Can. <laughs> Ew. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle crack cornbread is can. What the fuck? Crackle what? And that's when I went to a white a white ah. person's house, nigga. Interjection. I'm not about baby. to let that. I heard they call you cornbread. No, that ain't it. That no. ain't it. No. That crackle Stop corn. Stop making different shit. Because every time y'all do that oh, shit, mother. either it don't have no seasoning. <laughs> That shit don't have no seasoning. It don't have no love. Help don't me, please. No help me, please. No, nigga. <laughs> Lady, ladies Why and the gentlemen. fuck did you put pecans and cornbread, nigga? When I used to get in oh, trouble, you stop putting corn. They did what? Say that again? Ew. Pecans and cornbread, nigga. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. Stop having crunch in your cornbread, nigga. That shit is bread, nigga. <laughs> Just because it's that cornbread, nigga. It don't need no crack, nigga. I don't need no crunch when I'm eating my cornbread, nigga. Like, that shit must have melted in your oh, mouth. Pause, nigga. Some... No. <laughs> no, that shit is stupid. Like, all the... Some... <laughs> No, nigga. Like, subscribe, share. If you have Man, any I hope comments, enjoy this episode. <laughs> it's your boy Melly I, Mel. My question to y'all before I actually close up I, is I never made sense. No <laughs> 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 <I> made dollars. <laughs> we ain't made no damn sense this episode. What is important to you? And oh. have you ever had a figure in your life? Ooh. Seem like they made a terrible mistake on questioning or make a judgment as if they are a god. <laughs> it's put it like that. Wait, oh, God. Wait, God. <laughs> you started off good. You started off good. Okay, I, I'm gonna change it up. Uh, 
Anybody had a positive effect on my life. I was just saying, if anybody felt like judgment like they're God, they act like a God, they pass the judgment. I let it go. Look, teacher, if you ever see this, I'm not going to say your name. Goku for sure. I have absolutely 100% admiration for you. I forgave you. I'm not mad at you. I heard you doing good. I heard this person did ask my producer. To do a talk <laughs> in college. <laughs> and what I'm getting at is, you know, I mean, yo, I can't, yo, I can't. I'm not going to say no names. Um, you know who you are. He coached the basketball team. He wasn't good at basketball. <laughs> 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 Shout this out. Is, uh, <laughs> this is Great Apes Cafe. Damn, I can't say what I was going to say. Well, I'm, I'm this at, is, this, if you bought, uh, before you say what you're about to say, if you ever had anybody that mistreated you in the educational system, Leave a comment. What you got to say, Chief? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Anything else you got to say? Fuck y'all niggas. Uh, good night. Ladies and gentlemen. Stop crackles in your corn, bitch. No. This, this, fuck no. This night, is Great Apes Cafe. I'm drunk. Pecans and cornbread. Niggas. I've been drinking. Bro, so this is. I've been drinking. I've been drinking, bro. I'm and lay down and go to sleep on your couch. Because I don't feel good. He said sleep on the couch.